versus VTubers. We have five women and five VTubers here today. They will be answering progressively harder trivia questions. If their team misses one, they have to vote off a member of their team to leave forever. The first team to lose all their members is out, and the other team is victorious. For every member down your team is, you will get one bonus per round. We will spin the wheel, and depending on what it is, you will get a bonus to help you answer the question. Or just skip the question entirely. We're going to start with easy questions. After a few easy ones, we'll move on to medium and eventually hard ones. You guys have one, one minute, minute to answer each question. So, E-Girls, your first question. What is the name of the scale an earthquake is measured upon? Richter. Guys, oh. I think that's right. All right, you guys go with Richter? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think natural. Richter sounds okay. good. Richter is... Correct. First one down, first one down. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, give it a clap. VTubers, the heat's on you guys right now. Which video game console, first released in 2006, used motion controls during gameplay? It's gotta be the Wii. It was totally the Wii. It was ahead of its time, bro. I think we should say Wii. All right, we're yeah. locking in. Why are you guys speaking French? Wii Wii is correct. You're throwing it back over to Team E-Girls. On the Moe's scale of hardness, what is the hardest known material? Isn't it a diamond? Diamond yeah. seems pretty hard. Do you guys all agree with diamond? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go with diamond. Diamond I'm wrong, I'm sorry. is correct. Team VTubers, which Pokemon has electricity storing pouches on its cheeks? That's literally Pikachu. Wait, Twitch is cheating. Why is there a Pikachu mode? Whatever. Okay, <laughs> Pikachu is correct. Team E-Girls, what is the smallest country in the world? Vatican, I think. I think the really? city of Vatican is considered a country, oh, but I'm not sure. sure. Matt, does anyone have an emote no, no, for no, no, the smallest no, country? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. want an episode of Schooled? Oh my god, no, wait, 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 wait. And you oh, are <laughs> correct. Vatican yeah, City is the smallest city that. in the world. Next up, for Team VTubers, how many dots are there on a standard six-sided die? It's just up to six, what? right? I can see the hand tools <laughs> turning. Wait, I already forgot the question. What? It's over. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we almost uh, here, the I think 21. Four, 21 is! Correct. Team e girls, are you ready? Here it is. Okay. How many oh. prime numbers are between oh. 1 and 50? Those are numbers that can't have anything like go into them. So they're virgins. They can't, numbers that can't be divided by yeah. anything other than themselves in 1. Okay. 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 41, 43, and 47. Add 37, right? All right, we okay. didn't answer. It's 15. Yes. Do we go with 15? Okay. okay we're Lock it in 15. 15. 15 is... Correct. <laughs> Team VTubers, these guys sat there and calculated every prime number 1 to 50. It's time for your question. What does a paleontologist study? The dinosaur bones, yeah. Yeah. Correct. Uh, yeah. That was yeah. an easy one. Did not do it. For Team E-Girl, what video game character served as PlayStation's original mascot? I feel like it's Crash Bandicoot, though. I'm feeling more lenient towards Crash than yeah. Spyro, mm -hmm. but I don't. It's older. Because you said it was the first mascot, right? Correct. The original OG. You guys logging in Crash? Yeah. Yes. We are. Oh, frick. Okay. Crash Bandicoot is indeed the original PlayStation mascot. I'm That's surprised you guys got that. I would have not my gotten heart. that. Holy frick. Okay, right. now, VTubers, what color is the sky? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> For the last question, for Team VTubers is, what is the clinical name for the thigh bone? Yeah, Safimar. Team was correct. Congratulations, you guys have made it to the hard question in the first round. Team E-Girls, you guys will be up first. Again, if you miss one, you have to vote off a teammate. Here it is. Our first hard question. In what continent is the largest desert in the world? It's probably Africa. It's probably the Sahara. Yeah. I think it's the Sahara. Yeah. We're gonna go with Africa. Yeah. I believe Black in Africa? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Africa is incorrect. Oh, no. What is it? It's not the Sahara. The largest desert in the world, by definition, is Antarctica, the whole continent. So with that being said, Team E-Girls, it's time for you guys to decide. One of you guys has to go home. Who has the lowest level of education here? Did anyone not oh. graduate high school? I'm a student of life, so... What does that mean? I learn every day, okay. especially in this stream. <laughs> She's still in school. Alinity, who are you voting for? Okay, I'm voting for Melly. Sorry, Melly. Melly. Student of life that just... I feel like you have haven't been in life that long to say that. Dang. How dare you be a Zoomer? Kat, who are you voting for? I'll vote Melly. Oh, two votes for Melly. All right, Fandy, who are you voting for? I don't know Kat, and I don't know Katie. Okay. I know the other two, so mm -hmm. I guess one of them. Kat, maybe, I guess. Oh. 
That's okay. All right, one vote for Kat. All right, Katie, who are you voting for? This doesn't feel good. I'm just gonna say Fandy, because she doesn't know, like, she's not strong about math. I mean, at this point, Melly has two votes, and she would just vote to tie it up. I vote Kat. Okay, it's between Kat and Mel. So, Lenny, you're voting for Melly again, right? Yes. Fandy, who are you voting for, Kat or Mel? Kat. Oh, okay. Katie, who are you voting for? Cat or Mel? I think Cat has like gotten a thrust through a lot of these rounds. I don't know a lot of the things Cat knows, so I'm gonna go Mel. Mel, thank you so much for coming on to the show today. You so have been fun. amazing. Yeah. Chat, go check out Melly. Final easy question for Team VTubers. What planet is the hottest in the entire solar system? I would say the one we're on because all of you guys are here, but you know. It's like between like Mercury, Venus, and Mars, right? Mercury's first, right? Venus is where all the mm -hmm. hot ladies come. Yeah. Bell, your team leader. What are you guys locking in? Yeah. Let's just go with Mercury. Mercury is not mm. correct. Oh, it's Venus. Oh it is time to vote no. out a member. I think mm. I should go because I was like the least helpful and useful. Everybody else like got oh. some right answers. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to vote? Yeah, I'll rip the cord. Okay. I'll vote for her. I'm sorry, Nolly. I'll I have to charge my switch. Okay, girls, don't worry. Nolly, it's the end of the road. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. Thank you all so very much. I'm sorry that it was not helping much. You all are doing great. I believe in Team VTubers, so girls, please win this for me. Well, now both sides know the pain. It's time to mm. begin. E-girls, your final easy question this round. It's a bit of a math one, so good luck. What is 7 mod 3? Also known mod? as... 7 modulo 3. What is modulo? Wait, what? I'm in the hard <laughs> section. <laughs> oh, wow, this is this? <laughs> oh, I actually tapped over. Okay, my bad. My bad. What is the unit of measurement for electric current? Volts? Volts? Watts, probably. I think it's watts. But it Wait. could also be something else because there's another one <laughs> that I can't remember what it's called. Electric current. You talk about voltage, Because no? there's three things. Like there's the voltage. Like there's amps, product? yeah. Oh, amps sounds amps. right. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I think it's amps. Like, it's measured in amps. We're going to go with amps. Oh, frick. Okay. And then you the answer, amps, is correct. <laughs> oh, God. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Watts and voltage is related to, like, hertz, basically. Like, the effing per second. Second. Amps is just the raw power current. All right, final easy question for Team VTubers. In Lord of the Rings, what is Gollum's alternate personality called? Beagle. You guys know that? I literally don't even know that. So that is correct. <laughs> All right, moving on to medium questions. We're going to be kicking over to, to Team E-Girls. What is the longest running video game franchise from first release to latest release? I think yeah. Final Fantasy started before 97. You guys are locking in Final Fantasy? Yeah, we're locking in Final yeah. Fantasy. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm comfortable with doing. So, this game was actually first made in 1971. Oh the answer God. is Oregon Trail. Oh, what the heck is that? It I had a game that came out know. last year. <laughs> yes, Oregon Trail what? is the oldest to newest running franchise right now. 52 <gasps> years! Crazy. Team E-Girls, you have to vote someone off. <laughs> I'm voting myself. You can vote for me too, because I was going to go to the gym. I feel like Alenity's helped a lot. Oh, okay, I'll vote Fandy. Any other voters? Oh. I can just vote myself, and then... Yeah. <laughs> Team E-Girls, are you okay with this? Yes. Fandy, it looks like we have no other sayers. Thank you so much for coming on today. Have an amazing night. It has been excellent meeting you. Team VTubers, you guys ready? Hell yeah. All right, Hell here it yeah. is. What okay. color is an airplane's famous black box? It's um. actually orange because they need to find it in wreckage. Wait, why are you so that. sexy? <laughs> <laughs> you can't make out on my stream! Yeah. Sprixer is 1 million percent correct. That is a really <laughs> good answer. For Team E-Girls, at what temperature does Celsius and Fahrenheit intersect. Okay, I think it's negative 37. That sounds right. I know it's around negative 40. I think it's exactly negative 37 because I lived in Canada and I remember that. We're going to lock in negative 37. Negative 37 is incorrect. It's negative oh 40. God. You guys should just vote me. Vote me. Uh, that's my oh, bad. Frick. I f***ed up. Oh, Lydia, you're so good, though. I go. No, I, I, go. Think... I go. You guys, good oh, luck. Frick. You guys got this. I trust in you, Alinity. I'll keep Katie. Bye, <laughs> you guys. I'm... Thank you, Alinity. We love you, Alinity. Yeah. Yeah. You. Chat, yeah. big shout out to Alinity for coming on today. Yeah. If you don't follow her, check her the frick out. Alinity, you have been amazing. It is the end of the road. You guys got this. I believe in you. All right, Team VTubers, you're going to be starting first, all right? We're going to be starting from medium questions this time around. In what country did French fries originate? And it's not an easy question. It's, it's not French America. Fries. It's Europe. It's a bamboozle, Lauren. Oh my gosh. I feel like I've heard this answer a hundred times in my life and I 
can't remember oh, it. Right? It is a fun trivia yeah. fact. I know it's from yeah. Europe. That's what I know. I'm certain on that. It's either Sweden or Belgium. It's Wait, like no, Belgium. Belgium. It has to be yeah. Belgium. Val, what are you going with? We're going with Belgium. Belgium is correct. Oh, <laughs> Team Lemon, your question is video game related. Terraria, a very popular game, was originally a hack for what popular game franchise? We have two hints. Do you want to use one? I don't know Terraria. I don't play it. So yeah, all I know is it reminds me of Minecraft as well. Okay, we'll yeah. use a hint. And you are going to be receiving a question swap. That one's gone. Your new question is what type of animal can simultaneously live on land or water? It's one not a species. Think of like a bigger category. Like an amphibian? I think Amphibian. Amphibian is correct. Nice. Not Yay. bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. Our question for Team VTubers. What was the first video game ever played in space? Uh, it's gonna be like Tetris or Pong, because mm. when the space shuttle was. Oh yeah. Alright, we well, gotta pick an answer. Did we VTubers? say Pong or Tetris? I said Tetris, hmm. Lauren said Pong. Val? <laughs> Team Captain? I'm gonna Adult? go with Pong. Pong is not mm. correct. I oh. knew it. It was Tetris. Good feel. Oh, it was Tetris. It's fine. I'll swing at God. I'll anger the chat. I vote for Bao because I love being an antagonist. You actually want to ban oh. Bao. It's not a joke anymore. Yeah. Okay, I, I vote like for Sprixer then. Oh! You voted for me, I'll vote wow, for you. Wow, okay. Kurumi Lauren, I it's time for you to vote. My sheet will double in the villain arc. What? I, 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 I will vote for Sprixler instead. Sprixer? Lauren, what are you voting for? I wanted the coin flip in the very beginning, so bow. Wow, what now, Fillion? It's your problem. It's, your it's problem. two to two. Oh. One eternity later. Sprixer! <laughs> it's the end of the line for you. That's cool. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Goodbye, it's Sprixer. VTubers, we're beginning with medium questions, so this junk can go faster and faster. So, the question is for you guys, what planet has the largest moon in our solar system? Saturn's, like, the Saturn. biggest, so maybe it has the biggest gravitational pull. You guys log on Saturn? Yeah, Saturn. Yeah. Saturn is incorrect. It was Jupiter. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> All right. Then I vote for you, Lauren. Oh, frick, Kurumi. I love you, Lauren. <laughs> Bye, Lauren. We have two votes for Lauren. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah so I'm done. All right, thank you so much for having me on, Philly. This was so much fun. It was great to meet you, lovely ladies, or see you again. All right, Team E-Girls, your question is, what is the third letter of the Greek alphabet? Greek alphabet? Yep. Alpha, alpha beta. Oh. Alpha, beta, zeta. Uh, alpha, beta, chi? Alpha, beta, chi. I think it's a one-syllable one. I know Alpha's delta one. is after. Oh, I don't know. I don't want to lose it. <laughs> Do you want to lock it? I think it's good. I think we should lock okay. it. We should go with your gut. Okay. Let's lock, lock it in Kai? Kai. Yes. All right. Yeah. Kai is not correct. So the letters of the Greek alphabet go A, B, G, D, E. It is gamma. Gamma. Oh. So who do you guys choose to represent in the final? Oh, uh, I already know. Cat, you need to take this for the e-girls. Take it and run with it, Mother Fudger. You got this. We believe in you for all the e-girls out there. Okay, okay. I hope I win. We'll see. You won't we'll lose. See. All right, Katie, thank you so much for coming on the show today. You have been fantastic. Um, Team e-girls gets one skip, and you guys have to start first, VTubers. So starting off from medium questions, what is the smallest number greater than one that has an integer square root and an integer cube root? An integer means a rounded number, like one, two, three, Three, four or five. Those are integers, okay? So what is a number that if you take the square root of it or the cube root of it, both numbers are still a whole number? What the hell is a cube root? It's like the square, but it's like the third. So is it three? Yeah. Crew me, is it 69? <laughs> <laughs> is it 69? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. <laughs> Answer. 19, 20, Answer. It has to be 64, right? Just because you said it's so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> 69 or 64? 64. That's right. <laughs> The logic behind it is that if you take two to the second and two to the third, you multiply the two together and you get 64. Kat, your question is, you have one skip. What is the ancient Egyptian writing system called? What, like hieroglyphic? Is that what you want to walk in? The e-girls of the nation are sitting on my shoulders right now. If I fail them, I fail everyone. I'm just going to keep the hieroglyphics. But hieroglyphics is correct. <laughs> You're still in it. You're still in it. Team VTubers, um, what is the term huh? bae, B-A-E, said to be an acronym for? An acronym? Like you're my bae? Big. Yup. Ass. Yup. E. <laughs> B-A-E. 
stands for big ass big ego, ass. maybe. What are you guys locking in? We got a please pick an answer. Before anyone else, it has to be. Sure, I want to go with that one too. That's correct. Are you cheating? <laughs> You're yes, cheating. Really? Someone is cheating. We started with big ass ego and we ended on the actual answer. Yeah, how I don't is know that how possible? We get, we <laughs> free girls. All right. The state of Michigan allows you to get an official license to hunt what mythical creature? God, I wish I knew anything <laughs> about Michigan. No, no, um, true. <laughs> you have one hint. Oh, I do. Okay. Can I use the hint? Yeah. All right, we're the wheel. Question swap. Roll me. You are okay. free of this question. All right. So okay. we're going to ask you a new question now. Congrats. What are the three layers of a planet? The core? I don't know geography. Do your best. The outer layer. What is it called? It's like the crust? What's the matter? Oh. I feel like um, you're answering three questions, too. I really am. This is mm. a Oh, come like, on. Like, one... like, name, like, three numbers. Is that three questions? Cat. That's Kat. different. There's three layers. You said core and crust. The mantle? Are you locking that in? Yeah. So you said crust, mantle, core. Yeah. That is correct. Damn. Holy oh, freak. crust. All right, let's keep moving then, I guess. Team VTubers, what does SMS stand for in the context of cellular messaging? Social message. Social message. System? Something service? Social message service. Wait. System. Short. Short message, message system. system. Short message service. That is Short message. correct. How? Cat, once more, what is the capital of Brazil? I, I you mean my nails. Literally oh. could not is, tell you. Is it Rio? All I know is that's in Brazil is Rio. You're walking in Rio? I'm walking in Rio because I literally don't know any other place in Brazil. The capital of Brazil is Brasilia. <laughs> they changed it. It used to be Rio. Wait. Listen, Cat, you have been an amazing contender today, and this has been a very hard fought battle. You represented Team E Girls <laughs> very well. However, it is the end of the line. Go check out Snap Cat Snap. Val Kirby, you were the final remaining contenders of your effing home side. You guys were amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming on. I hope you had fun. Thank you for having us. It was a lot of fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.